what are some of the most toxic or potentially dangerous ideas slash beliefs that have been perpetuated by redditors? Think about the subjects that you have an immense amount of knowledge about. Maybe you've spent your whole life studying it. Now think about all the times you've seen a well-written comment on reddit with thousands of upvotes. That is completely and verifiably wrong. Now think about all the subjects you know nothing about, and all the times you've learned something from a well-written comment with thousands of upvotes. Are you telling me that history's biggest public bathroom still graffiti board, Reddit itself, is not to be trusted? This is the best description of Reddit I've ever read. We all poop in, bruh. Dude don't at me, I just sat down. Still there? Briefly stated. The Gelman amnesia effect is as follows. You open the newspaper to an article on some subject you know well. In Murray's case, physics. In mine, show business. You read the article, and see the journalist has absolutely no understanding of either the facts or the issues. Often, the article is so wrong it actually presents the story backward reversing cause and effect. I call these the wet streets cause rain stories papers full of them. In any case, you read with exasperation or amusement the multiple errors in a story, and then turn the page to national or international affairs, and read as if the rest of the newspaper was somehow more accurate about Palestine than the baloney you just read. You turn the page, and forget what you know. Michael Crichton. Exactly. To make it worse, Reddit is heavily astroturfed. So, not only are you consuming fallacious content from absolute idiots, you're also being served propaganda on a platter. The vast majority of the front pages bought and paid for. The posts that aren't, are by aspiring astroturfers who harvest in karma to make their account a lucrative but for astroturfers. I have a degree in English language and I used to teach it. I nearly always get downvoted to hell, and told I'm wrong. When I explain how using literally instead of figuratively is linguistically fine, just because Reddit doesn't like it. Edit, so, literally and I literally died laughing, is an intensifier to get across just how funny you found something. Anyone with a brain with English as a first language knows you didn't actually die. The dictionary does not define what words mean. Usage does, and a dictionary records it. That's why they are always being updated. Archaeologist here. It's ducking insane lol. I'm a nurse. Your story of someone else's hospital experience is likely not how that actually went down. Your story of your own hospital experience is questionable as well. Even nurses commenting on experiences in areas they don't work in are often not likely how things actually went down. I'm an EMT that works rural 911. It's crazy sometimes. No, we are not cops. No, we won't tell people you use drugs. We just need to know, so we can help. No, we don't upcharge you for stuff. No, we don't set prices, and the ambulance fee isn't our fault. No, you won't be charged if you call us, but don't go to the hospital. No, we don't care how that hamster got stuck in your A. We're overworked and underpaid compared to other healthcare professionals. Most of us don't do it for the money, but to help people. You'll read comments and think, wow, these people know so much about this topic, but then a topic will come up that you have expertise in, and you'll realize that people on this site just pull answers out of their ass with confidence. Also, after enough time here you'll start to realize the average demo is on the young side, and has very little life experience. Keep that in mind, when you scroll through the comments. There's so much stuff that could be debunked with a simple web search. Holy I'm going to make a Mythbusters Reddit themed Yatub video and become famous. Edit. For those of y'all taking me seriously, I'm way too lazy for that. Almost too lazy to even just watch it, if someone else makes one. Almost. People no longer care about the truth. Make a Yatub video that validates their beliefs and makes them feel good and you'll become famous. I will make both and then, a few years later, hype up a fight between the two channels where I reveal the truth. On the flip side, 
sometimes things have to be needlessly accurate. What bad is straight up wrong information? Earth was created 6000 years ago, and is flat type shit. However often the information isn't so much wrong so much as simplified, and errors come with said simplification. It's kinda like how you learned what molecules were in elementary school, then atoms then electrons and protons. Molecules was both wrong and right, simplified so you could learn at your knowledge level. And then if you studied chemical in uni you'd learn that the way you know about electrons and protons was quite wrong in high school. Things like shells aren't that simple, cloud movement etc. And odds are study further, and you'd learn what you learned, is first and second year was also wrong. But it was right enough, while remaining simple enough to understand. Sometimes it's best to sacrifice a level of accuracy, if it ensures, that the core concept behind something is grasped. I dislike on Reddit sometimes how people want everything explained in the most hyper detailed method, when arguably that could do more damage by miscommunication of the broad idea. This is particularly true with psychology slash mental health. Do not take mental health advice from Reddit. Yes, some of us went to university for this, and have actually treated patients. But we are usually late to the thread, and too tired to write the full statement we could stand by as professionals. The more popular view has won already, and understanding lost again. Edit, the easiest way to tell, if someone is qualified to give you mental health advices, that they tell you to get your own therapist. One example of this, a medical doctor posts a well written comment about the dangers of over prescribing antibiotics. Top comment of the thread. Tons of awards. Later a second year med student posts a similar comment. Still well written, but maybe misses a few key points specifying how and why. Again. Top comment of the thread. Gilda to the nines. Later a college freshman BO major writes a pretty bad summary of the situation. But it's part of the Reddit hive mind echo chamber so anyone who bothers to correct him gets misinterpreted and downvoted. And so on, and so on until someone literally tells me they read on Reddit, that taking antibiotics is dangerous, and will lead to a super disease, that will wipe out humanity. Come on Reddit. Lol it's just like the telephone game. My child's high school had the novel idea of using the telephone game to teach a bunch of teenagers how misinformation works. The beginning message was apparently something mundane about a statue outside. The end message was a list of various female students that are suspected to be pregnant. The admin really felt dumb after letting that go unmonitored in a school-wide assembly slash demonstration. Edit at 881 upvotes. Plot twist. I made this up, making it misinformation itself. I actually feel bad. This is how misinformation works and I demonstrated it on a perfect thread. Really? Sounds like a success to me. It's quite likely that some nefarious character completely altered the message versus it gradually morphing, but it's still a good demonstration of what can happen with so many people in the chain. Worse shipping celebrities 10 year olds don't need to receive death threats because he's never heard of a 55 year old actor. Hey Reddit why do you like Pinu so much? Because of how nice he is. Why don't you follow his example? There is a joke about humanity's ability to follow the example of a saintly individual from Nazareth in there, but someone better with words will have to tease it out. Mahatma Gandhi, I like your Christ. I do not like your Christians. They are so unlike your Christ. Not sure if I have the exact quote, but that's the gist. Along a similar line. The greatest single cause of atheism in the world today is Christians, who honor Jesus with their lips, then walk out the door and deny him by their lifestyles. That is what an unbelieving world simply finds unbelievable. Brennan Manning. The general belief that how an idea is presented is more important than what is being said. I can't count the number of times I've seen bullshit conjecture with clean grammar get upvoted past someone who actually knows what the fuck they are talking about from direct experience, but can't spell for shite. That's not a reddit thing, that's a life thing. I once bullshitted an essay in a comment, 
describing how Napoleon Dynamite is a brilliant coming of age story about the difficulties of coming to terms with adulthood. And I got gilded for it. I'm a huge movie fan and I love Napoleon Dynamite, but it's very clear that the filmmakers intended it to be an absurd story with little to no meaning. My comment was not meant to be taken seriously, but because I wrote it well I was somehow able to convince some commenters who didn't like the film that it is actually good. R slash Amethy Hole used to be a great place where you could get an honest opinion on whether or not an action you took makes you an asshole. Sometimes you still might get an honest comment or two, but the amount of times where I've seen utter responses get removed or downvoted to oblivion, while others are screaming NTA, they shouldn't have been slightly mean to you if they didn't want to get murdered. Exaggeration but I'm shocked half the time I look at the comments. Edit. Some hours after this comment this beauty got posted. HTTPS slash slash www.redid.com slash r slash amethys hole slash comment slash e3owj8 slash 8 or underscore for underscore telling underscore my underscore pregnant underscore ref wb underscore sh underscore gonna underscore have slash utm underscore s o u r c equals s h a r e and utm underscore m e d i u m equals i o s underscore a p p and utm underscore n a m e equals i o s s m f Basically a bunch of kids telling an irresponsible homeless person who probably made a child with another adult that it's too bad. I'm not being a father. Overwhelming NTA. I'm very convinced most of the active users on that sub have never had a job. Whenever a workplace situation comes up and the other person was being any kind of mean or disrespectful, any actions by op are completely justified regardless of the potential career impact. The majority of redditors are in their teens or early 20s, so you're probably right. I think my issue with the sub is that most posts are a masturbatorial exercise in self-righteousness. Nobody is asking if they're actually an asshole. It's a question of whether or not they're correct. I've been right and an asshole at the same time many occasions in my life. They are not mutually exclusive and frequently accompany one another, especially when you feel you have the moral high ground. Example, some guy pulled out onto a busy road blocking both lanes and proceeded to change lanes into me, striking my vehicle when I tried to pass. I would have been right in getting out of my car and being upset about his negligence in driving, demanding his insurance and calling his rental car company to excoriate his driving abilities. Instead, I made sure he was okay, that our cars were drivable, shook his hand and told him to have a good day. The reality is that I drive a 13 year old beat up car and he didn't really cause additional damage. Sometimes it's not about being right, it's about being human. That sub has a huge problem with labeling technically correct as not the asshole, even when the world doesn't work like that. Like someone asks if they are the asshole because they are the only person in the office who doesn't contribute to the office birthday pool. The sub will basically chime in with NTA you shouldn't have to contribute if you don't want to while completely ignoring the fact that the entire office will consider you the asshole. Fetishization of mental illness. So many posts that reach the front page talking about depression, anxiety and even suicide. Look I get it's tough, I've been there myself, but it seems like people on this site are more content to stew in their own misery and blame society for not taking their problems seriously, rather than getting serious help or doing something about it. I mean how in the hell are other people supposed to take your issues seriously when even you won't? The number of redditors that claim to have crippling anxiety is crazy. I have mental illness in my family, that SHT is no joke. Another one that bothers me is people saying they have OCD because they are bothered by imperfect patterns and disorderly things. It's like they forget it's a serious mental condition that real people suffer from. 